Hi friends. Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. Belaglis class. Belaglis class. Yes friends. We are doing applications of trigonometry to the heights and distances in finding the heights and distances of objects my friends. In that, we have done many examples from the exercise 12.1. Exercise 12.1. Many examples have done. Then, as a last example for this, I have considered one example which is a solved example in your textbook. Solved example in your textbook. Solved example 4. Uh, it is a solved example. Yes, I will explain my friends this. It is a solved example in your text. Sometimes they ask solved examples also. From a point P, this is the point P, my friends. On the ground, the angle of elevation of a top of a 10 meter tall building. This is the building, my friends. Now, this is building. This is flagstaff. This is double seated is a building. This is building. Uh, the top of the building is this. From P, mm, the angle of elevation of the top of the building is 30 degrees. Then, then, a flag staff, a flag is hosted at the top of the building. Flag is hosted at the top of the building. building. And uh, the angle of elevation of the top, top of the flag staff, this staff from P is observed 45 degrees. Find the length, the length of the flag staff. This length means height. This length of the flag staff and the distance of the building, distance of the building from the point P. Distance of the building from the point P. Yes, my friends, uh, the example is there is a point P on the ground and a building here, the angle of elevation from the point P to the top of the building is 30 degrees. Flag is posted on the building. Then the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff from P is 45 degrees. Then you want to find what is the length of this flag staff and distance of the building from the point P. You want to find AP as well as BC here. BC. I have taken it as well. X. X you have to find here. You have to find AP. Yes. First write it my friend. Let AB equal to 10 meter be the building. And BC a flag staff. Angle of elevations are given my friend. Angle BPA is 30 degrees. CPA is 45 degrees. Give it. If you take this equal to x, what is that? BC is x. BC is x. Then the value of AC, what is AC? AB plus BC. What is AB? 10 plus x. So AC is 10 plus x. 10 plus x. Again, one by one, my friends. From this, from this, from the triangle <coughs> APB, from the triangle APB tan 30 opposite side is AB upon hypotenuse this is a hypotenuse is no AB upon adjacent side is what AP AB upon AP tan 30 1 by root 3 but what is AB AB is 10 meter AB is 10 meter 10 upon AP therefore what is AP AP is here take this side 10 into root 3 that itself is what my friends the distance of the building from the point P is AP equal to 10 root 3 10 root 3. next my friends another triangle in triangle APC A P C we have tan 45 tan 45 is opposite side is AC upon adjacent side is AP AC upon AP tan 45 is 1 the value of AC, AC is 10 plus X upon AP. Therefore, 
cross AP equal to 10 plus X, 10 plus X. But you know the value of AP, but what is AP? 10 into root 3, but AP is 10 into root 3. Substitute the value of AP, which is 10 root 3 equal to 10 plus X. So X is 10 root 3 minus 10. 10 is common, root 3 minus 1. Uh, the friend is given the value of root 3 is in in sometimes in some example they give only 1.73 in some but connected with this example it is given 1.732 the value of root 3 minus 1 huh? minus 1 means you are left with 0 0.732 0 0.732 means what it is 732 upon 1000 one zero cancels 732 upon 100 which is 7.32 meter therefore x is this but what is x my friend x is nothing but length length of the flag tap is 7.32 meter and one day the other is what distance of the building from the point p this is building distance of the building from the point p is ap and distance of the building from the point p is ap but what is ap 10 into root 3 what is the value of root 3 1.732 multiplication it is 17.32 meter it is 17.32 meter this is one sample my friends which is a solved example in your textbook like that even example number 5, example number 6, there are 2-3 examples man, which are good examples. And the examiners may consider such solved examples from your textbook. I have done one sample from the textbook, one solved example. One solved example. Yes, my friends, hmm? we have done nearly more than 4 hours huh? on this heights and distances means applications. Then in remaining time, my friends, uh, the questions how they ask for CET or objective level questions, not only CET, they are good examples of JE also. Yes, my friends, I do uh, some samples, for, uh, three, four examples of what? Objective type questions, objective type questions. Yes, my friends, copy it, copy it. <coughs> Yes, friends. Now I do some object to type questions or one mark questions. Yes. Next is objective type questions. Objective type questions. Questions or CET examples. CET or you can say anything G. 
exiles. Just it is our seed, you know. Simple examples, my friends. Uh, first example. Example number one. The ratio the ratio of the length length of a rod length of a rod and its shadow and its shadow so he is in the ratio he is in the ratio 1 is to root 3 he is in the ratio 1 is to root 3 the angle of elevation angle of elevation Elevation of a sun is dash. Uh, normally, for this, I write in detail. Man. First option is 30 degrees, second option is B, 45 degrees, and third option is C, 60 degrees, and fourth option is D, 90 degrees. Yes my friends mm, the ratio of length of a rod length of a rod with its shadow this is a rod with its shadow is 1 is to root 3 is 1 is to root 3 this is rod is 1 this is shadow this is root 3 then you wanted then you wanted what is the angle of elevation what is the angle of elevation elevation yes let EB be the length of the rod and BC is its shadow. Then I wanted this angle, my friends. The angle of elevation from this point to the rod. Yes. Let EB length of the rod. BC shadow. You see, it's a shadow. Now, then you take that angle. That angle ACB, which is a angle of elevation, is here. Then, then in triangle, yes. Then given the ratio, my friends, AB is to BC is 1 is to root 3. Then AB is 1 and BC is root 3. I have written here, my friends. In triangle, ABC tan theta. Tan theta is AB upon BC. This is 1 by root 3. So from this, my friends, tan theta is 1 by root 3 at what angle? Hmm, tell, which is tan 60 degrees. No. Tan 30 degrees. Tan 30 is root 3. Therefore, what is the angle? Theta is 30 degrees. Therefore, which option is the answer? 30 degrees. First option is the answer. 
first option is impossible. Simple examples, my friends. Simple. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. Hope it is simple. This is a rod, it's a arrow. Ratio is what? 1 is to 3. When the ratio is 1 is, one is to 3, uh, length of the rod is 1 and its arrow is root 3. Is correct? Huh? Then you wanted what? Sun is here. Sun is here. This is the angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. Uh, if the sun is here, then only the shadow comes. Yes, my friends. Angle of elevation. I want angle of elevation, that theta. Uh, tan theta 1 by root 3. When tan theta is 1 by root 3, but tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Therefore, theta is 30 degrees. First option is the answer. First option is the answer. Next, my friends, example 2. Example 2. If the height and the length of the shadow, if the height, height and the length of the shadow length of the shadow shadow of a man are same means equal are same Then the angle of elevation, same. Then the angle of elevation, angle of elevation of the sun, of the sun is a dash. First option, A option is 30 degrees, B option is 60 degrees, C option is 45 degrees, fourth option is 15 degrees. It is also the same like previous, my friends, like previous, C. Now in this case, this is the friend, AB is the friend, person. Uh, this is AB. Sun is always here. Huh? Uh, then only the shadow you get it, my friends. Sun is here, always. This is the shadow. They are equal. This length and huh? shadow. They are equal. They are equal. AB is height of the person and BC is height. This is angle of elevation. Sun is here with the shadow. This is the angle made. This is the angle made, angle of elevation. Yes. My friends, the same thing you have to write. Huh? AB is the person. AB is the person. And BC is its shadow. This is height of the person. Height of man. BC. He is a shadow. What is given? They are equal, my friends. Given, they are equal. Same, BC. Uh, from this, you can get what? Uh, AB upon BC is what? Is what? Yes, my friend. In triangle ABC, 
Russian Navy see to take down Peter. Down here. This is the figure tells. Opposite upon adjacent side. Opposite upon adjacent side. A B upon B C. But what is A B upon B C? One. Because by one, my friends, this is one. Because by one. Therefore, tan theta is one. But you know the value of what? Tan forty five is one. Tan forty five is one. Therefore, what is your angle? Tan theta equal to tan forty five. You are getting tan theta equal to tan forty five. So this gives this gives theta is forty five degrees, which is angle of elevation. Huh? Then what is the answer, my friend? Part C. Answer is option C. Option C. Same previous. In this case, it is one is to root three, but in this case, it is one is to one. One is to one. One is to one. Yes, my friends. Next question. Some simple examples, my friends. Simple. Simple examples. Yes. Yes. Friends. Uh, the height, height of two poles. Example three. Example three. The height. Right of two poles, two poles are eighty meter and sixty five meters. meters. If the line joining if the line joining The tops, the tops makes makes an angle an angle of forty five degrees with the horizontal <coughs> with the horizontal. to the horizontal horizontal the distance between the poles is this sort of height the distance between the poles is that Uh, these are options. Uh, this is seventy-five meter, fifteen meters second, third twenty-two point five meter, fourth is thirty meter, thirty meter. Yes, friends, there are two poles. There are two poles. This is one pole. First pole, it is said. You take this is eighty meter height or length. Eighty meter, you can denote this as what, my friend? Eighty. And there is another pole which is short height. Short height. This is C. This is C. Hmm. 
it is of length 65 meter. These are the tops. Through C, this is the horizontal line. Horizontal line. Then note the angle of elevation of the tops is angle C. This is A, B, C, D. You can take E. E. Then angle A, C, E. Angle A, C, E. That angle is given or not. If the line joining there, this is given my test, 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. Then you wanted to find, ah, what is the distance between four? So find B. Find B. Yes, my friends. These are the two poles with a different height. The first is what? My friend, it is, it is AB, which is 80. Second pole CD, 65 meter. Then this is the horizontal through C, the smaller one. And then it is 65, my friend. This is a 65. This is 65. Then you can find this E. Find this E. Yes, 10. Let AB equal to 80 meter. C is 65 meter are the poles poles correct then ce is the horizontal ce is the horizontal line horizontal then then this is gives my friend CD equal to CD equal to BE uh, BE equal to what my friend 65 meter 65 meter therefore the value of AE AE equal to this AE what is AE AB minus BE AE equal to a B minus B E. A B minus B E, which is 80 minus 65. That is 15 meter. 15 meter. This is 15, my friends, only this. This part. This is 15. 15. Yes, again, huh? you have to go for what? Either you wanted this BD to find BD, you take what again? 10 45. 10 45. In the triangle, Yes. In the triangle ACE, in triangle ACE, take that 45. 10 45 degrees. Opposite side, this is 45, my friends. Lines must be straight. Hmm? Yes. Tan 45. Tan 45 is opposite side is AE. AE. And adjacent side is what? CE or EC. Anything you write. Tan 45 is AE. AE upon uh, EC. 
Steve said. But what is that? What if I use one? What is e fifteen upon e c? Uh, my friends, this gives the value of e c is fifteen. e c is fifteen. But what is e c? e c is nothing but b d. But e c is nothing but b d. But e c equal to is b d. This gives my friend the value of b d is fifteen. What is b d? That b d is the distance between the poles. What is b d? The distance between the poles is what? Fifteen meter. Therefore, distance between distance between the poles. Is fifteen meter, which is the answer, my friend. Which option? Answer is B. Second option, fifteen. Fifteen. Second option. Second option. So, like this, such simple examples they give up. We have written actually they come for the CET. Only figure will help directly you to take, my friend. Fifteen. Tan 45, 15 upon this. Only one step. Directly you have to go to this out of the figure. Directly this step. When we get 15, don't write all these things. It is for your sake. 15, then mark right there. Option 15 means it is option is B. Second option. Second option. Yes, my friends. Next one. Next one is. A ladder ladder leaning against a wall leaning against the wall against the wall makes an angle Makes an angle sixty degrees with the horizontal. With the horizontal. Horizontal. If the foot foot of the ladder. Foot of the ladder, ladder is twenty-five meter. Away from the wall, away from the wall, then. Find the length of ladder. Then find the length length of ladder. Length of ladder. Yes, my friend. Ah, uh, this is the wall. This is the ground. Yes. This is the ladder. Yes. <coughs> ladder. Hmm. This is the wall. This is 
in the ladder. This is one, my friends. This is ladder. This is the end. The angle of elevation is 60 degrees. This point is C. Then from this foot of the wall, this is 25 meter away. 25 meter away from this place. Then you wanted what is the length of the length of the ladder? This is hypotenuse. In this case, my friends, tan and sine doesn't work. Why? Opposite side is not given. If the opposite side is given, either you have to take sine or tan, but opposite is not known. Adjacent side is known. Angle is known. You wanted the hypotenuse is ladder. Therefore, in this case, instead of tan and sine, you have to take cos. Cos. Yes, my friend. Yes. In the triangle ABC. In the triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, I told you they cost 60 degrees. Cost 60. Cost 60 means adjacent side, my friend. Adjacent side is BC. Hypotenuse is AC. Hypotenuse is AC. Uh, cost 60 is 1 by 2. What is the value of BC? BC is 25. This is 25 upon AC. So from this, what is AC? AC is 2 into 25. 2 into 25 is what, my friend? 50. But what is AC? Uh, this AC itself is your ladder. AC itself is your ladder. Therefore, length of the ladder. length of the ladder is 50 meter 50 meter yes simple here hypotenuse we wanted adjacent side is given instead of taking tan sign you have to take cos Yes, friends. Next one is next one is <coughs> in a rectangle in a rectangle In a rectangle, a rectangle, the angle between angle between the diagonal and the side. Diagonal and a side side is thirty degrees. Is thirty degrees. And the length of diagonal is and the length of diagonal.
is eight centimeters. Then the area of the rectangle. area of the rectangle is dash. Uh, this is first option. 16 square centimeter. 16 by root 3 square centimeter. 16 into root 3 square centimeter. and 8 into root 3 rectangle A B C D now this is the diagonal Diagonal length is given my friends, 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter, but what is given, given is, in a rectangle, the angle between the diagonal and a side, this is a diagonal, this is side, angle between diagonal and a side is 30 degrees. 30 degrees, this is 30, and the side is 30 degrees. We wanted what is the area? Area of the rectangle. What is the area of the rectangle? This is 8 centimeter length of the diagonal. Now, for the area, to find the area of the rectangle, you wanted what? Huh? Length and breadth. You wanted the value of AB and AD, my friends. AB and AD. Now it is easy you can find it. Uh, this is a diagonal means what? My friends, it is a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. To get this, you take cos 30. To get this, you take sin 30. Finished. Uh, for the area, you wanted what? Length and breadth. What is length? AB. What is breadth? AD. To find AB connected in a triangle. In a triangle ABD, AB is, AB is adjacent side, AD is opposite side, and BD is hypotenuse. Is correct? I, I will make it first clear. In triangle, in triangle ABD, uh, we have, uh, this is my friend AB, is adjacent side. And my friend AD, opposite side. And what about BD? BD equal to 8 is hypotenuse. Is hypotenuse. And this is 90 degrees and this is 30 degrees. So you have to take one time cos 30, another time sin 30. Cos 30 and sin 30. Yes, my friends. In triangle ABD, I have written everything there. Uh, first is cos 30. Cos 30, adjacent side is AB upon hypotenuse AD. This is AB upon BD. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2 equal to AB. Uh, what is the value of BD? BD is 8 centimeter. BD is 8 centimeter. From this my friend you get what is the value of AB? AB is uh, root 3 by 2 into 8 into 8 cancellation which is 4 into root 3. Therefore, my friend AB, uh, AB is nothing but length, length, length of the rectangle is 4 root 3, this is 1, 
second you take sin 30. What is sin 30? Opposite side. Sin 30 opposite side is AD upon hypotenuse. AD upon hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is BD. Yes, my friend. Sin 30 is 1 by 2. AD we want to find. BD is given A. From this, tell my friend. Now, what is AD? AD is 1 by 2 into 8. That gives 4. Therefore, now the value of AD is 4. Value of AD is 4. Now, what is the area? Area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle. Equal to length. What is the length here? Length is AB. Length AB. Into breadth. Tell my friend, what is breadth? Breadth is AD. Breadth is AD. Already the values are here. What is AB? 4 root 3 into what is this? 4 equal to 16 root 3. Area means it is square centimeter. Area means square centimeter. Then which option is the answer? Is it third option? So the answer is C. Answer is C. Answer is C. Yes, my friends. Simple, simple. Just by making use of four. Huh? This uh, heights and distance knowledge only we can do such examples, my friends. If you have an interest, I give just one or two examples. You can work. You can work. Yes, my friend. You can work. Yes, these are just for your practice, for your practice. I hope this is clear. Why you have to take cos to get EV? Why you have to take sine to get ED? Why we have to take sin and cos only? Because hypotenuse is given, hypotenuse is BD is given. When the hypotenuse is given, you have to go for what? Sin cos only. With opposite and adjacent side. Yes, my friend. This is in the figure, figure is given. This you can do at home. In the figure, in the figure, a tower AB. Tower AB is 20 meter high. high. And BC, BC is its a shadow. It's a shadow. Shadow on the ground. On the ground. It's a shadow BC. It's a shadow on the ground is 20 into root 3 meter. The length of the shadow is 20 into root 3 meter. Find the sun's altitude. Find the sun's altitude. Yes, my friends here, the sun. This is the ground. Ground. Oh. 
tower. AB is the tower. Mm, BC is its shadow. BC is its shadow. This length is given 20 meter. This is given 20 into root 3. Sun is here. To get the shadow, always back side, sun is here. You wanted sun's altitude means angle theta. In this case, we have to take what my friend from the triangle. Opposite side, I write direct, my friend. At this end side, 10, 20 into root 3. What is it? 1 by root 3. I write direct, my friend. What is theta? Hmm? This. Sun's altitude is 30 degrees, my friends. 30 degrees. If you want this, I, I don't want to do it. Purely, you have to do the last example. You have to do that one example a little bit confusion uh, in the statement, that statement is not clear. That's why I left that example, my friends, in between. And this is homework you have to do, purely. I'm not going to do it. If the angle if the angle of the elevation Elevation of the top, top of a tower from a distance, from a distance of hundred meter. From its foot, foot is sixty degrees. Then, then uh, the height of the tower is These are the options, my friends. 100 into root 3 meter. 100 upon root 3 meter. Some parallel example I've done, my friends. 50 into root 3 meter. 200 upon root 3 meter. Yes, my friends. Hmm? Distance from the point is foot of the point is given as 60 degrees, then height of the top. Yes, my friends. Hmm? This is about the applications, applications of trigonometry to h means heights, h means heights and distances, d means distances. My friends, nearly around five classes, five videos I've done on this, hmm? taking Many examples from your work, 12.1 exercise. Uh, even I have done one solved example, sample example solved. Even I have done some objective type of questions, my friends. These objective you can get in any competitive examinations. Competitive examinations, I don't want to name it. It is J, it is CET. In the Karnataka state, it's what is the CET, my friends. Okay. Any competitive exams you can get. Such examples, my friends, such examples. So, with this I can say, my friends, uh, that finishes, that finishes this chapter, which is attached to the trigonometry. But do you know, I have done, I have started with your trigonometry in the beginning, which is a very, very important branch in mathematics, my friends. In future, uh, PUC first year, there is trigonometry, PUC second year, there is trigonometry, uh, if you join with any engineering or straight degrees without trigonometry, even the subject mathematics doesn't know in certain aspects, my friends. Therefore, 
so important topic is trigonometry. So, hmm, I have done this. Just one more question, my friends. Object to type or CET or any competitive exam examples, my friends. With this, I will. Uh, I can say that princess applications of trigonometry to heights and distances, my friends. Chapter number twelve. Examples are considered from what exercise 12.1 and one or two solved examples. There are remaining two, three, one example number five, example number three. They are good examples even though they are solved examples. And they are solved examples in your textbook. Please, my friends, will refer to solved examples. One example number four that sample actor understood. So, saying this, my friends, wishing you must prepare nicely. Why? You get one example under three mark question, part four. You can get what? One example. One example. One example under three mark question, my friends. And this is in the question paper, model question paper. This is part four. That too, my friends, in both the, there are two model question papers given by the SSLC board. In both the question model papers, uh, it is example number 27. Yes, my friend. Under three mark question, three mark question. Prepare it. Say it is my friends. Hmm? Ah, it is enough today. Hmm? My friends, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And Prepare nicely, prepare nicely. Yes, my friends. Huh? Thank you. Namaste, Namaskara. Bye, goodbye, Namashinda. Bye, goodbye, Namashinda. Good day, my friends. Thank you.